how are you? Okay, so if you've been following our Instagram account, iKids English, uh, you should know that we are going to cook a delicious soup. But if you haven't followed our Instagram account, I'm going to explain you a little bit why are we doing this. So firstly, I'm going to explain in Spanish so you can understand why we are doing this cooking class because we are in this school. And later, the recipe, the class, it's going to be in English, okay? Estamos haciendo esto porque en iKids no solo tenemos niños, nuestros iKids, tenemos iTeens, que son nuestros adolescentes, y iSeniors, que son nuestros papás o adultos que vienen a clase. En la última clase eh, comentamos que podíamos hacer un challenge de cooking class. So we are going to use a book, I will show you later, with different recipes. Eh, y cada semana vamos a cocinar una, una receta y luego en clase comentaremos todo el proceso de la receta. Esta semana, como yo soy la profe, me ha tocado a mí cocinar y voy a hacer una super sopa deliciosa. Ok, so the book we are going to use for our classes and for the cooking part is going to be this vegetarian book my friend Ellen gave me. And I've decided I'm going to do a delicious cheese and potato soup with corn. The first step uh, for the recipe is the vegetables broth. Okay, we are going to prepare a homemade vegetable broth for our soup. Okay, so remember that you don't need to make your own vegetable broth. Okay, you can buy it pre-cooked. So if you don't have time, you have many brands and super good quality and you can buy it and use it directly for the soup. But we've decided that we are going to do our own homemade vegetable broth and we are going to use all these veggies we have here to prepare the broth. So let's review what kind of veggies do we have. Um, well, remember that of course you can add like chicken or meat, but this is like a vegetarian soup, so we will do it just with vegetables, okay? So let's review a little bit these veggies and the vocabulary. We have carrots, zanahorias, we also have turnip, nabo, we have, uh, what is this, celery, apio, we have cabbage, which is repollo, and we also have leek, puerro. So what do you need? What else do you need for your broth? Just water and of course salt and pepper and that's it. Okay, so for the festival broth we are going to use this pressure cooker. Okay, remember one important thing because my students always make the, the same mistake. Cooker no es cocinero, okay? Cooker is the cooker, the place we use to, to, for the cooking part. Cook is cocinero. Right? Okay, in English, it's a bit, sometimes you make this mistake. Okay, so we are going to use this pressure cooker because it's going to be faster. And in five minutes, we will have our broth ready. What do we need? The first part, you have to add the water. We are going to use around two liters of water, okay? And for you, it depends on how many serves you want to prepare. But anyway, don't worry if you have any water left because you can use it later on with your veggies and you can prepare mash, okay? Mash puree, M-A-S-H. So I think here we are going to have food for the rest of the week. Now, we are going to add the veggies. So we cut a little bit the, the carrots. Of course, please wash your hands, kids. That's very important. Big. Okay. Put in here. Mm, I think it's going to be delicious. And this is vegetarian. My friend Virginia can can eat this. Here. Now. Close. Well, we, we are going to add a little bit of salt, okay? Just a 
just a little bit because you can add later on more salt, 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 just in case, okay? Be careful, you have to close this carefully. Let's see if I can do it. I'm not a professional, I told you, so maybe I need a hand here. Okay. Okay, so we are laughing a lot here because it was almost impossible for me closing this, this uh, pressure cooker, but finally we made it. So just leave it there, leave it open, uh, leave it closed, please, don't leave it open, for five minutes. Um, it has to boil five minutes, you know, five minutes more or less, and we will come back. Okay. Now our vegetable broth is ready. I forgot to tell you that if you don't have a pressure cooker, you cannot you can use a normal pot. But instead of five minutes, it should be boiling around 30 minutes, okay? 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the time you have. So now we are going to add the broth in this saucepan and later on we will add the onion the mashed potatoes. Well, I'll explain you, I'll explain you later, okay? So, let's see what do we have here. Mmm. Wow, it smells delicious. And now, listen, don't forget that we, you can use all these veggies to prepare a mash, okay? You can prepare un puré. So, we will have our soup, and veggies mash, okay? So we are going to add a little bit here. Mm. I think we can keep the veggies and a little bit of broth. Like this. Okay. So we already have the broth, okay? And now let's check our recipe book. We need to add the chopped onion. We are going to take this. So, chopped onion. This is the first time I've done this kind of soup. I don't know how it's going to be. Okay, we need to add the chopped onion and the cream corn. Okay, I don't think I will add everything, but let's see. My granny could say ajo. <laughs> okay, I think we can add a little bit more. Yeah, this is enough. What else do we need? So we have the broth, the onion, the cream corn, and then we are going to leave it here, um, boiling for around five minutes, okay? And we will come back later. So, we have here, just to summarize, the broth, the onion, and the corn. And leave it there, Cook it medium to high heat, and when it starts uh, to boil, just low the heat a little bit and cover the pan and leave it there for five minutes. Now, our soup is boiling. We are going to low the heat down a little bit. And we are going to cover the pan, the saucepan, and we have to leave it here for five minutes. So, this part of the recipe is ready. We have the broth with the corn and the onion, and now we have to add the instant mashed potatoes. I couldn't find that, so I decided to buy these already boiled potatoes, and I did it myself. So what we are going to do now, we are going to add the mashed potatoes 
Um, we are going to stir. Lo vamos a mezclar bien, okay? And we could add later the cheese, the milk, and the salt, okay? So, mm, this smells pretty good, pretty good. So, here we have the instant, well, it's not instant potatoes, the boiled potatoes. We are going to add it here. Okay, and now stir, okay, until it is blended, okay, you have to, it, this means mezclarlo bien, okay. So now we are going to add the cheese. Maybe you can use the cheese that you have at home. The recipe says one cup of cheddar cheese, but I'm going to use mozzarella. <laughs> so, cheese. Now we are going to add also the milk. It says one cup and a half. So once you have added the milk, you have to add salt and be careful with the salt. Remember that we already add salt when we were cooking the broth, okay? So adding too much, uh, it, doesn't have a sol it, it doesn't have a solution. But if you need more, you can add it later, okay? So we add the salt, a little bit of pepper. Mm -hmm. We are going to cover the saucepan. We are going to program the heat like very low. Okay. Around five, I think it's a good idea. And we are going to keep it there for five minutes, low heat. Okay, so we're finished. Now the most important part and most interesting, we have to try it with soup. So let's see. It smells delicious. I don't know how it's going to be, but wow, you can see the pieces here. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave you with my soup. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this recipe. It has been something different for us in our kids, but at least, I don't know, we have had fun and I hope you've learned a lot of vocabulary. Bye!